Hello, Audrey. Yes. Today we're going to work Julia. on the text, uh, uh, François Julien, The Treaties of Efficiency. It's called the name. So, and uh, we're going to start from the first chapter. Uh, so I propose you to uh, read the first question and um, then we will go into some discussion of it. Can you start? Okay. okay, you speak about questions. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, a question that is in the text? Yes, it's the first, uh, well, it's the first sentence, but it starts uh, with a question. Okay. Okay, okay. So, <clears throat> to what extent have we ever stepped outside that European schema? Or are we even able to, can we even question it? We, quote unquote, within the European tradition, who still perpetuate those early Greek categories. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Yes. So have you got any problems with what you read? Mm. Yeah, I was too much into uh, reading English. <laughs> yeah, maybe I missed some uh, some meaning. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That, that's so right. uh, is there something that you don't understand? No, it's no, no. I understand. Uh, yeah, he's questioning the the fact that uh, actually maybe we don't uh, really step outside uh, our schema. Okay, so you think there is the presupposition that uh, in the question that we never stepped outside of this of uh, European schema. Yeah, never. Uh, didn't didn't say that, but uh, not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how did you understand that we not so much uh, stepped outside of uh, the European schema? No, if you want, you can write just below the first. Oh, okay. If you want. Okay. If you yes, want. yes, yes, yes. Hmm? So, uh, okay, here. Yes. Hmm? So if, if, if there's some um, hint in the text that uh, makes you presuppose that uh, we uh, not so much stepped outside uh, the European schema. In the rest of the text or just in the question? No, in the, in the, in the question. Actually, yeah, I propose something that is a bit, uh, yeah, uh, factual. Yeah, he said uh, he has. To what extent uh, we ever stepped outside the, 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 the schema? Yeah, mm -hmm. so he said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very question. Yeah, there is something else, but uh, it's not the question. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, when someone says the, to what the extent, um, I, for example, exercised uh, my uh, exercised my running today. He's um, presupposing that he not so much exercised his running today. Let's say in general, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Does it make sense to you? This idea? Yeah. Yeah. It speaks to me. Yes. Yes. We are too much uh, European, and we have difficulty, mm -hmm. big difficulties to, to to think otherwise. 
Okay, so uh, I uh, so a uh, I I would propose uh, my idea. So to what what extent? Yes, there is some problematic in this. Yes, so it uh, there is the um, in in this um, formulation. To what extent uh, there is some um, something that is. Uh, missing yeah there's some to what extent there is uh, some lack yes yes it may can be uh that it's not full uh like um fulfilled yes it's not uh, enough to be ideal or not to be enough to to be complete uh, accomplished how do you how do you come to this idea uh, to what extent yes uh, okay because uh, it's uh, to what extent it can be some it's a uh, it requires some measure, yes. Um, so, uh, for example, uh, in this, uh, that, that, that requires some measure. And, um, for example, the measure can be uh, that uh, it's uh, enough, it's not enough, uh, it's uh, like a comp overfilled or it's uh, not completed yes and yeah. uh, uh so to, to towards uh, to what extent uh it uh, yeah i would say that it's not about uh, uh lack itself but we can uh, see that uh uh yeah so it's uh there is some well, actually, uh, actually I would text. take the, the mm -hmm. yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. I take it uh, I take the idea of lack mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so I would understand it that way uh, is that uh, we have a view of on the world uh, that is European mm -hmm. that is re reduced uh, to a European view a schema mm -hmm. so we don't have uh, the view on the world yes okay. Yeah. Okay. So yes, and uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So we if we connect with the text. So European schema is also yes some reduction of uh, of what we actually uh, can see. Yes, or or the 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 world view. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Uh, oh, is there have, something else? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's not clear for me why it speaks about perpetuating those early Greek categories. Uh, so far, naturally, I would understand that uh, European people are uh, influenced, uh, formalized, not formalized, but uh, on formized, I don't know the word, mm -hmm. yeah, by Greek traditions, Greek categories. So it okay. implies that there is something else. Is, a, is it uh, what you understand? Okay, so uh, you have some uh, problem with this uh, idea of Greek categories. Yeah. Okay, can you formulate uh, your problem in the clear question? Uh, my problem is to make the connection uh, between Greek categories and the scheme, uh, the, the European schema. Okay, so uh, if you yeah, formulate it sure in the it question, uh, how would ah. it sound? Okay, so uh, how, how Greek categories uh, 
influence uh, European schema. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so um, imagine that uh, you're asking the question, uh, the uh, comprehension question to this part of the text. Do you think you have um, enough information to answer or is the question a bit pre, pre advanced? Uh, in this text, uh, in the in the question itself, no, it's, there is something implied. Mm -hmm. uh, so, some knowledge, let's say, about uh, European schema and about uh, Greek categories. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so kind of common sense, maybe. If, uh, let's say knowledge more. Okay, but uh, can that you... maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But can you can you give some answer uh, to this question, some hypothesis? based on what you already read? Uh, no, uh, no, I cannot. OK, so either your question is uh, uh, like outside the the, the text, like you, you cannot answer it uh, because we don't have enough information now, or maybe you can find some answer in the in the yes in the following text so but yeah, now uh, anyway um, yes mm -hmm. but there is there is at least one possibility to answer the question it's not complete but there is something uh mm -hmm. it's the idea of reducing reducing uh, we were okay. speaking yeah yes we were speaking about uh, the reduced way of viewing the world and uh, so so far what we can understand uh, mm -hmm. what I understand, is that uh, perpetuating Greek categories uh, participates to reduce uh, the, 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 the view on the world. Mm -hmm. And so since, be... yes, since you know some uh, Greek categories, can you, can you give an example how it can uh, reduce the, the view of seeing the world? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have a big knowledge actually, <laughs> but I, I I think about being, for example, uh, being. being, yeah, being, yeah, yeah the yes. being, yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yes. So uh, the being means that uh, it individualizes uh, a person and uh, yeah, an individual, and uh, it distinguishes. It, him, from mm -hmm. another one. So there are distinctions between beings. Uh... Mm. Interesting. Uh, well, individual. Uh, well, uh, there is some uh, like problem in what you're saying that uh, the being uh, distinguishes people, especially for Greeks, uh, Asian Greeks, because this idea of uh, personality and uh, individuality, it's um, its rather um, laterly developed idea uh, when um, related more with the Christian tradition that, uh, yes, we, we have this uh, um, individual work on ourself in order to, to work on the sin side. And but for it, for the Greeks, uh, being was... Uh, uh, less distinguished, I would say. Um, the, the, the individuals were not, uh, it was not the problem of individual existence. Uh, it was more about being, yes, like yeah, being yeah, a fire, yeah. being, yes. Mm -hmm. I thought about that by yes. thinking <laughs> about it, but I have an answer uh, that allowed me to, to continue this idea, okay. <laughs> uh, to, to, to say it actually, even yes. if I was thinking uh, like, like you said, uh, is that uh, there is an antinomy uh, that is the one and the multiple. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the being, there is the one and the multiple. And so necessarily the being, even if there is some Platonician uh, vision of the being, mm -hmm. so the, the real being is in, uh, in the air, let's say, it's a disguise, uh, is uh, abstract. Mm -hmm. It implies uh, its multipli multiplicity in uh, 
manifestation of it. Okay, so necessarily you have mm -hmm. multiple beings with okay. the, that correspond to, to, to the being. That's the thing I would say. Okay, so, so yes, I'm not. Yes, I shouldn't speak about personalities or yes. psychological okay. stuff. Yeah, that's very contemporary. Let's say, uh -huh. but uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so it's about uh, being distinguished as uh, individuals implies multiplicity, multiplicity of being, beings. Yeah. Yes, of beings. You mean beings as the human beings. Or beings uh, like uh, whatever beings, uh, yeah, yeah, things, uh, yeah. creatures, yes, yeah. okay. Mm -mm. So okay, okay. So there. Are... You, you accept and, it? Uh, uh, it makes sense. Mm. Well, since I I cannot. <laughs> uh, contra well, I, I don't have another idea opposite uh, of something uh, uh, okay let's uh, let's let's see uh, being distinguishes individual so implies multiplicity of beings so there's this uh, the reduction the idea of the reduction uh, is that uh, okay so can can you say that uh, this idea of categorizing things is the reduction itself because what i what i read it's being distinguishes individual implies multiplicity of being so usually uh yeah there is a process behind this distinction is it what uh, is it the process that we can call categorizing behind it you mean uh being categorizing yes. or yes like uh, if uh, to distinguish individuals you have to uh, have some principle how you would distinguish one from another yes so by uh, what is the tool of distinction of distinguishing so if we connect to the question that we read Mm -hmm. uh, here, a possible distinction that we can propose is about this reduction, is that uh, the, the, the European side. So mm -hmm. it seems that at least you have uh, European beings and non European and beings. And none, sorry, non European being, beings. Yeah. Do I answer? Okay. Well, uh... Okay, so they, there's uh, the connection uh, between the question and the reduced view of seeing the the the, the being is uh, of seeing the world is to distinguish what it is and what it is uh, and what is different. Yes. yes. Okay. So. And uh, yes. But how you how do you distinguish it? What is the uh, what is the instrument that allows you to distinguish? Let's say that it's the cultural tool. Okay. Or. Uh, well, yes, it, but uh, it's a bit general, the cultural tool. Yeah. So can I, can yeah. I propose uh, the, the idea of, well, I already said this, uh, of uh, categorization. This yeah. idea of okay. categorization itself, the process, it allows you to deal with multiplicity and distinguish oh, yeah. one thing from another. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, can we say that this uh, reduced view of seeing the world is uh, because we 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 have our process of thinking based on categorization? Yes. Yeah. Makes sense. So, uh, 
yeah, we can say it can be Greek categories. Or, oh, by the way, you know who did the, the categories in uh, in Greece? Who was the, the father of categorization? I think it's Aristotle, but... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. It was yeah. him. <laughs> okay, so we at, at least we know something already. Yes, yeah. from this uh, uh, Aristotle. And uh, yes, that what categorization is uh, so implies multiplicity of beings. So do uh, how we deal with multiplicity, we deal through categories. Yes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's true that uh, Plato was much less in two categories. There are some, but uh, it's less. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Aristotle is more obvious in categories. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, uh, but uh, uh, since we we're a bit closer <laughs> to the to the to your question, the, to answer your question, uh, have you got some examples in mind of ca Aristotelian categories? Uh, difficult to, to connect to the, 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 the text, but uh, in general, what he proposed, by, he made the organon, so he he classified the different types of beings, uh, men, animals, uh, mm -hmm. etc. For example, uh, well, I'm not I'm not very knowledgeable in that, but yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there, there was some the categories uh, uh, about uh, animals, men, uh, yeah, then the, the cosmos and so on. So he organized uh, the things being in this way. Okay, so at least we know something. Yes, so we have this reduction uh, uh, way of thinking. We uh, we not uh, we are into our European schema. Of schema of thinking, and uh, probably it based on Greek categories, yes, invented, uh, proposed by Aristotle. Okay, so so far so good. You have any questions, proposals? Good, it's okay. Okay, so let's go further. Let's uh, see what uh, Julien. <clears throat> Francois, yeah. Francois yeah. proposes us. <laughs> it is it so in. sorrowfully, yeah, it is so sorrowfully assimilated that we no longer see it, no longer see ourselves. Okay, so uh, do you understand this? Uh, yeah. The, this sentence. Okay, what, yeah. uh, what is the idea? Uh, yes. uh, it's, he, 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 he is posing uh, his thesis here that we, because of this the reduction, we, we don't see, uh, we don't see ourselves. There is no uh, let's say if we can speak about about consciousness, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes, yeah, we really are into uh, into these Greek categories. It's uh, thoroughly assimilated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see any opposition in this uh, sentence? Uh, there is a form of, of opposition if, if you want uh, uh, yeah it's between the, the it and ourselves uh, so there is the it the phenomenon of mm -hmm. uh, this uh, greek influence and mm -hmm. the ourselves are beings yeah so self-consciousness so yeah this opposition actually uh, it goes together 
we mm -hmm. we we are not able to observe anything uh, actually basically the 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 phenomenon and uh, neither ourselves so mm -hmm. yeah there is unconsciousness there is blindness mm -hmm. uh, can you, do you see uh okay so uh, basically uh, in this sentence he he do you see some drama you you think it's it's a dramatic sentence <laughs> yes, that's true yes yes i see it yeah mm -hmm. okay so yeah. what is the what is this uh, drama about uh, that we lost something and no longer mm -hmm. uh, repeated twice uh, so and thoroughly uh, yeah puts the, the lost. stress on the, on the loss and we lost uh, this consciousness this capacity of knowing uh, the world knowing ourselves oh, it seems that there is some uh, Socratic uh, principle behind it. Okay, so how do you uh, connect this uh, the capacity lost uh, the the capacity of knowing ourselves and the world with Socratic principle? <clears throat> uh, the 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 thing that was written on the on the the temple: uh, know yourself, know thyself. Mm -hmm. and you will know the world and uh, the gods, the 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 universe and the gods. So, okay. Yeah, we lost and, it. And and what is the problem? Why do you think we, based on the text, we lost this capacity of knowing ourselves and the world? Uh, I propose that uh, we take for granted for a certitude uh this categorization uh mm -hmm. it's a knowledge right? it's a belief and so we function with it but we don't question it mm -hmm. that's that's one aspect and the aspect of categorization uh puts ourselves on the earth in the material things and so uh, we are not transcendent transcendent in, mm -hmm. anymore uh, we 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 don't we are not in abstraction in the being okay this uh, i'm a bit um, okay so it's a bit um, uh, the forward idea uh, that uh, you said that um, we are not in the in the abstraction anymore uh we are on the on the ground uh, because of this categorization yes yeah it's a paradox all day uh, by the way I, I listen to you yes and so we we believe we believe uh this knowledge of greek categories okay so it's kind of abstraction we are abstracted from uh from the ah. material from the, the, the ah. experience okay I, 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 oh. So the the problem with this categorization is that uh, we are alienated from uh, the real, like by categorization, we are alienated fr uh, from the the real selves, the real being. Being. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we say like this? Yes. The this there is alienation mm -mm. from. Um, self okay self and being and also the, the abstraction yes yeah so we lose mm -hmm. we lose the abstract abstraction uh at the same time but this uh, uh let's say spiritual uh, the the spirituality okay because we are too much into categories uh, in experience and we don't transcend it we don't question it so we don't go up to ideas so we are okay. nowhere actually 
Okay, so uh, the loss of spiritual connection with ideas, yes? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, so far as uh, the, the hypothesis, yes. So uh, we'll, uh, I don't know if it's uh, yeah, what he wants to say or it's like uh, we accept it uh, now and then maybe in the text we change our mind. Um, but okay. No yeah. spiritual connection with the ideal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I see a little problem with what I yeah. said. Uh, okay, uh, if we uh, remain on the Aristotle side, it's, mm -hmm. it works. Because uh, otherwise, if we go to Platonician uh, vision, it doesn't work. Uh, categorization is important to understand the reality, uh, to understand reality. Mm -hmm. So uh, for Plato, for Socrates. Uh, but uh, if we remain on the side of Aristotle, categorizations, uh, categorization is mm -hmm. empirical. So we lose abstraction on that uh, on that side yeah okay so could we say, so with this abstraction okay and uh, and how uh, the the fact that we're losing abstraction uh, how it's uh, connected with this uh, idea that we lose uh capacity of know knowing ourselves and the world I would say that uh, in knowing ourselves, following the text, is about uh, how do you write it? Uh, something I like uh, knowing. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, okay so uh -huh. thank you again. Um, yeah, actually, there is not this dialectic between the, um, mm -hmm. the experience, the material thing, and uh, the world of ideas. Uh, so it's there is a kind of whole that is material, and uh, we are in it. And mm -hmm. uh, so we we don't see ourselves outside from this. So we don't see the in a way in the negativity of uh, of ourselves. Uh, so to 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 see only what it is mm -hmm. is by itself incomplete. And uh, uh, if it is incomplete, we cannot know ourselves. We must confront ourselves to our material side and our uh, spiritual side, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, in order to know ourselves. If we just look at one side, uh, that's let's say a wrong, a wrong knowledge. So we cannot know ourselves. Okay, so in the if we um, make some summary to what you said, so uh, to see only what it is should be uh, both. Yes, uh, it should be negative and positive. Yes, or how would that, how else you would? Uh, the negative and the positive would would be to see what it is positive mm -hmm. and what is not negative. Mm -hmm. And uh, Occidental people just see what it is. Positive, they uh -huh. are more into yeah concrete things. Okay, so uh, to 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 see. Let, let me what it is and what is not. So uh, to see ourselves. Yes, it's a way I'm summarizing what you said. To see ourselves is to see what it is and what is not. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, how do you connect this uh, to 
to this uh, sentence. To the text? Yes, to the text. To to the text with this, uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the second sentence. Assimilated to, yes. So yeah. assimilated to no longer see it, no longer see ourselves. Yeah. Uh, so through categories, we see what it is. Mm -hmm. And we cannot see any longer. We cannot uh, no longer see uh, what is not. Uh, okay. Nobody what we are, but including what is not of what we are. Okay. So... Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we see only fruit. Okay, so it um, it makes sense, and um, okay, so uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I, it's my question. Maybe it's a bit complicated, uh, but um, to see ourselves is to see what it is. Yes, through categories. For example, you say I'm good, I'm uh, uh, gentle, blah blah blah. So you you categorize yourself, uh, and then actually I don't know if it's categories. Uh, and then uh, what is not is something that uh, you 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 don't have the word for it because. It, it doesn't exist in the language, this idea, or uh, what do you mean by what is not? If you if you say uh, good, if you say I'm good, you don't look at I'm bad. Mm -hmm. So you don't look at the, the side of how I'm not good. So in a way, it absolutized the, the judgment on you. Okay. Okay. You don't question it. You you don't directize the, the the good aspect. Okay. You don't problematize. Yeah. Okay, so there is no problematization. I mean, okay. <laughs> so let's let's go to the next uh, part. Um... The following sentence. Yes. Mm -hmm. We set up an ideal form, Eidos, which we take to be a goal, tell us, and we then act in such a way as to make it become fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, um, You understand the sentence. Uh, yes, uh, but yeah, the, the, there is something that uh, I would like to clarify. Mm -hmm. Following what we said, uh, I want to check uh, with the sentence if, he, if it's coherent or not. Uh, that's about the first part of the, the sentence. Uh, we set up an ideal form. Uh, yeah, uh, spontaneously, I would say that uh, there is uh, an opposition with what we said. Yes. So, yeah, but maybe not. Okay, but so far, yeah. Yeah, let's say spontaneously, yes, there would be one. Uh, mm -hmm. It means that there is an abstraction uh, since we form an ideal. Yes. Uh, there is abs abstraction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But actually, we spoke about abstraction. We spoke about it. We yeah, spoke, uh, yeah, you said that, that abstraction is the... So uh, we are deprived by categorization. Categorization we are deprived from abstraction, but maybe not that much in the text. Uh, that uh, uh, yeah, uh, I was mm -hmm. making an equivalent between abstraction and spirituality. Yes, more, yes, yeah, yeah. It's uh, spirituality, and the ideal form is not necessarily spirituality. Uh, it would be more. Uh, about taking Greek categories as a, a knowledge, a certitude uh, mm -hmm. that we take for granted. So mm -hmm. it's a form of ideal, uh, mm -hmm. good or bad, we don't discuss it, but yeah, there is a mm -hmm. problem with this ideal. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, a, 
maybe it's something absolute. Yeah, well, uh, yes, well, I, I think this in this sentence he um, he re he's reducing his idea or he he wants to show like he he's he's got the tennis, yes, so we see ourselves through reduction. Um, Greek categories, and we follow this scheme in our functioning, and therefore we don't uh, see longer ourselves. And uh, then he is trying to show um, how it's happening. Yes, or and uh, through this example, he's basically he's giving some example that to prove uh, his um, thesis. Yeah. So yeah, okay. we we have some intuition, maybe wider, bigger than uh, supposed to be, and now he's showing us some example how how it functions. Yeah, in yeah. The reality. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So that's why I was yeah I was saying that uh, the first part of the the sentence. Uh, of the text may be uh, in opposition with what I proposed earlier. Yes, about this abstraction. Yeah, but yeah. I'm Ideal su form. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Then uh, the first disagreement with the text. <laughs> it should be another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, OK. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we set up an ideal form. Idos, uh, it's ID, idea. Yes, or form. Yes, it's uh, in in the English. Uh, Idos is the uh, form. They translate mm. it as form. The world of fro forms, but it's the same as uh, in Russian. For example, we have uh, uh, not forms but ideas. And the Aedas is Greek idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, actually in French, uh, Aedas, yes, would, I think would be translated into idée, idea. Mm -hmm. But idea is uh, either something clear or something, uh, let's say, more reflexive. Uh, it can take it can take different forms. Uh, uh -huh. It's not necessarily conceptual. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but uh, mm. here he's rather simplifying uh, his uh, words, and uh, well, his idea, and uh, he's showing how it functions on. Um, what he said yeah. before. So, when he speaks about telos, uh, mm -hmm. uh, teleology, it's uh, it's uh, the, the 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 science, of the science. It's the, the what's connected to finality, right? It's the final cause. Uh, you mean uh, the, 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 this the um, the formal uh, the final telos. cause. Yes, the, yeah, as a final, final cause. Um, yeah, it can be, yes. Uh, yeah, it can be uh, because uh, because he's saying and, uh, and we then act in such a way to make it become a fact. So, yes, that's, uh, that's the in an Aristotelian way it will be the material, the material cause. The, no, no, I'm confusing this. Um, uh, no, the final, the final cause. Yeah, I would say the final, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I, I see now the, the, the connection, but it's it doesn't contradict what we were saying earlier. No. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, we, we have an idea and we 
who want to be uh, it like this uh, in the world. So, uh, for example, he speaks about projection mm -hmm. of a view on the world. Yeah. Yes. So he accuses European not to be uh, phenomenological, for example, but uh, to be idealistic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the here corresponds with the Sartre, yes, idea that uh, the the man is the project. It's got some mm. idea, project, mm -hmm. then it's not given in uh, reality. He takes this idea, project, and then he realizes. Oh, I would say that I have a problem. It's a counter meaning. No? Okay. What the yeah, problem? You, you will tell me. Uh, mm -hmm. I see a counter meaning in the fact that, uh, uh, okay, Sartre, uh, uh, yeah, said that uh, the man is a project, so he's in becoming. Yes. Uh, so he's not determined by his an essence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that would be the opposite of here, that okay. there is an ideal form that we want to take a, to be a goal, uh, to to be a fact. Ah, okay. So. Uh... In in this case, uh, you will say that the man is predetermined by ideal forms. More, that yes, yes. There is a range of forms that uh, he's predetermined, and then he takes the form and then he makes it the fact. And in Sartre, there is no predetermination of the forms. It's just uh, nothing behind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It makes Nothingness, sense. you're right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Uh, so, um, yeah, because I, I'm, I'm associated with this projection. And I said, okay, so projection, yeah. maybe it's certain, but no. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so this projection of the, the view of the world, uh, and also there is some predetermination by forms, yes. And even I would say uh, I, I'm have a problem with the idea of uh, the, the the word uh, form because I mm -hmm. think about Plato when uh, here form and when here if if it is about Aristotle we are not in the forms uh, yeah we are more in the uh, in categories so we can say ideas it's uh, it, yeah well uh, actually we don't this... know he's not this is not mentioning aristotle or uh, yeah right i know I or know. plato we just uh, right. with we are dealing with some intuitions that we we have yes so now uh, it's a uh, there is ambiguity yes uh, mm -hmm. what he's uh, refer referring to um so let's not be bothered by this Let's go with it. We'll stay with the text. So, uh, okay. So, how do would you understand this uh, the sentence that, that summarized this? Uh, so, we set up with an, an ideal form, Aedis, and then we take it to to be a goal, Telos, and we then act in such a way to make it become fact. How would they? Uh, How would you translate uh, this uh, schema to our normal life, our life? Uh, I would tend to say with, uh, in a contemporary uh, perspective, that we are pragmatic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, we have an idea, we have a, yeah, I would say, yeah, a project, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have an idea, and we want it to be like that. Mm -hmm. uh, in the world, so we 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 want to to modify the world. Uh, yeah, we are pragmatic. We project our ideas, uh, and we want the world to go with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have an idea and we want it to be like this, 
Okay, so uh, so far it's a bit abstract. Can you give it a concrete example? Yeah, I have something. Uh, and this example will show an ambiguity uh, in, in this uh, process. So, uh, for example, in France, we have uh, some big discussions, quarrel uh, between churches, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, philosophical churches. Mm -hmm. um, some people say that we must be gentle, uh, good willing uh, with people, with participants. Uh, so they have this ideal of uh, good willing, good will, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they act in that way. Uh, it's a fact. They are nice with people. Uh, but the problem is that they don't make them think because they don't dare problematizing, they don't dare uh, interrupting, they don't dare ex several things. Okay, Yeah, well, that's the, the, the ambiguity of the, yeah, the problem of uh, dispositioning. So the ideal, the, the idos, mm -hmm. is goodwill. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they want it to, to be a goal, uh, to act uh, good willingly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they, it's a fact. They, they, they make it a fact. A fact is there is a... mm -hmm. this goodwill uh, in uh, in workshops. Okay, so the fact uh, people feel good, feel pleased. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 So it's like the goodwill, the good uh, uh, transforms into the fact. Uh, that the fact people feel good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So and what? Why it's uh, the you say you say that it's there is ambiguity in this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The, the the ambiguity or let's say yeah, it's an ambiguity or a con. Yeah, even contradiction, uh, in the fact that they 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 are there to 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 make people philosophize, and uh, they they are not actually, uh, because they 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 put forward, uh, the 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 idea of goodwill instead of, uh, the idea of, uh, thinking, of critical minds. Yeah. Okay, so they they have different aids, <laughs> they have different aids in their mind. <laughs> <laughs> that they yeah. want to uh, yeah. uh, realize and make it as a fact. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, we are opposed to them, <laughs> uh, obviously. Uh, yes. We uh, we we look for the confrontations of ideas of uh, persons. Yeah. Reasonings, and okay. uh, yes, yeah, so confrontation is apparently opposite to good. Okay. Okay, so uh, well, yes. So we we have uh, diff uh, can we say that uh, uh, there is no? It's not an, about ambiguity, but it's about the the uh, the confrontation of uh, aids that uh, the, the aids can be opposite. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So yeah, uh, they are yeah opposite. Yes, we. We have, and by the way, we do the same. Uh, we have the idols of uh, thinking, and we apply mm -hmm. it, uh, even if people uh, consider that we are not nice. By the way, well, I, you know what, I'm yeah. now. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, yes, idols um, for, uh, like also for philosophy practice, can be based on good will, but then. The way we we understand the good uh, will we interpret it in the in a different uh, in a different ways. That's For example, right. good will uh, to please people, yes, uh, and the good way will is to ch challenge people. So both yeah, uh, uh, to to make not to change necessarily, but at least to make them think, yes. be aware, at least, yeah. So <clears throat> they they 
Okay, so the 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 problem is not in, in this uh, ADUS that the 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 ADUS can be the same. The the ADUS can be good, uh, but uh, the 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 way of do transforming it, like the way of uh, dealing with this, is uh, different. No. Uh, anyway. In philosophy practice, the one that we do, uh, thinking is more important than being nice or being kind. So it doesn't prevent from being kind, mm -hmm. being nice, but the main idols is to think, to make people think. Okay, and that's what okay. we apply. If we really follow the process that is in the sentence of the text, uh, we are more into the idols of thinking than to the mm -hmm. idols of. Uh, okay, so uh, the the idols. Uh, what would be the idols for philosophy practice? Uh, practice. Make people think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and is the make people think would be the 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 good of the practice. The, like the if you 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 know this uh, the the Plato he's got this uh, ados of good beauty and uh, uh, truth. truth truth yes so it's uh, yeah in between good and truth I and good. beautiful as well <laughs> there is I yeah, good. three of them yeah okay yeah. but yes let's say good. Right. So on the plan of good, uh, the two idols, those, uh, the, the one of the, the others, <laughs> and ours okay. uh, are opposite. Okay, right, right. Yeah, so um, I would propose you a more simple idea here in the for, for this uh, sentence. Uh, for example, you have a form uh, of uh, the house house and uh, then you, your your goal is to build it yes and then uh, you build uh, yeah you 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 build a house and then the, the house becomes a fact yeah in the materialization yeah good yeah it's more simple yeah <laughs> it's possible <laughs> so and less it... problematic you know when it will come publicly you know <laughs> yes <That's it. laughs> so it's like idea of the house becomes the real house yes yeah that's right and mm -hmm. by the way uh your example shows uh clearly the pragmatic pragmatic way mm -hmm. uh, you have the, the the house on the paper on the plan and then uh, even the, the the idea of use of protection and so on and you put it on uh in practice in uh, not in practice but in a, in a fact yeah yeah. idea of house and the object of house, yes. Mm -hmm. Good one. Okay, so let's stay with this, yeah, or yeah, yeah. or you want to keep your idea of uh, of thinking. Oh, no, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it, I think it's not bad, but uh, yeah, let's say. <laughs> okay. Well, just uh, maybe yes, I will uh, cut it. Maybe I will <laughs> cut it in the video. <laughs> no, no. It's interesting. Uh, it's interesting for us to uh, to 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 think about this uh, environment, philosophical uh, environment, yeah. uh, through a text. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's move to another sentence. Okay. It all seems to go without saying, a goal, an ideal, and will. With our eyes fixed on the model that we have conceived, which we project on the world and on which we base a plan to be executed, we choose to intervene in the world and give a form to reality. It goes, mm -hmm. like he mm -hmm. said, Seems to go without say. Yeah. We say yeah. in French, C Q F 
D, it means what we had to prove. <laughs> that is. Okay. So but, uh, basically we discussed enough of uh, this idea, I guess, and uh, here we, we have some, uh, yeah, so some, some more uh, extended uh, explanation of what is uh, what he said before. So um, you have some problems with the understanding of this passage. No, uh, if I have a problem, is that it's too obvious, and I must be careful when it's too obvious. Usually. <laughs> I make a mistake, <laughs> but mm -hmm. so far what I can say that what we said and the text are quite coherent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Less... uh, right. Well, let, let's uh, let's go back to to this idea that we uh, no longer see ourselves. Yes, and uh, through the eyes of this. Um, the, the new extended um, formulation uh how would you uh, how would you uh, summarize this problem of not no longer seeing ourselves uh, then uh, i would say that uh, we are too much into objects we deal with objects uh, we deal with objectified ideals, ideal mm -hmm. forms, uh, and uh, it's kind of we are kind of vectors mm -hmm. for these uh, objects, uh, even instruments for these objects, but we are not ourselves. So the finality is the objects, not ourselves any longer. Okay. Okay. So it uh, matches with this uh, uh, that we are externalizing. Yes. So too much. Yeah. We're. We're focused on external, uh, not internal. Yes. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me an example or uh, of this uh, process? Uh, that we are too much with the objects and uh, we are focused on external. So let's try a concrete example for uh, Julia. Uh, <laughs> yes. Let's take back the example <laughs> of house. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, be creative. Uh, think about something else. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> be creative. <laughs> think about something else. Oh, it's it's too much. I mustn't <laughs> use my well of philosophy concepts, but I, I must be creative. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. difficult. Um, yeah, too much in object. More. Let's say. Let's take a car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's change a little bit. <laughs> uh, So let's take the idea that uh, we must go fast to do mm -hmm. a lot of things in a day uh, uh, because we are impatient for, for different reasons. Different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to go fast. So we buy a car mm -hmm. uh, because the car goes quicker than us. And uh, then in this car, uh, factually, this car is at the same time the idea of uh, uh, going fast, but the problem is that with the, the, this uh, quickness, this uh, yeah, mm -hmm. 
there is as well a kind of status, social status. So a car that doesn't go very fast is not a good one. Okay. When a car that goes fast is a very good one. So that's the opposition between a, a Peugeot and a, a Mercedes. Okay. <clears throat> so, so yes, then... I made a, a sliding yes uh, in the fact. There oh, is a what... transformation. Yeah, but does does this uh, transformation and sliding uh, uh, relevant? Is it relevant to to this idea that we discuss or no? Not being ourselves, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yes. In the sense that uh, uh, when we are in the car, we are not ourselves. Okay, we are uh, the one that drives the, the car. Uh, yeah, so there is usefulness or social status, uh, whatever. But we are in that new category uh, mm -hmm. that corresponds to the car. And uh, yeah, yeah. So we come from an idea, yeah, something useful to, uh, to uh, no, being no one. Mm -hmm. We don't realize ourselves in, uh, in the fact of having the car. We okay. just realize the idea of quickness or usefulness or yeah okay so it's uh, uh, like being no one uh, but in the status uh, car yeah uh, like okay fancy car oh, yeah fancy or useful or yeah yeah, uh -huh. and okay. you can have different interpretations, but yes. So if we start with the idea of uh, usefulness, mm -hmm. okay, simply, uh, I should have I should haven't speak about status and so on, but just usefulness to go quick. So we are not ourselves. We're not more ourselves mm -hmm. uh, driving the car. We're just. The being, the being that the, the, the individual that, that drives the car. That's it. Okay. Uh, so there is a gap between the the objects uh, that we use, the the utility of the object that we use, and ourselves. There is no gap. There is no ourselves. There is no gap. Okay. There is no gap. We come from the idea to the fact. Okay. So the idea of quickness to the, the car that brings quickness. Mm -hmm. And the idea go, goes through us, uh, obviously, because the um, ideas need to need a vector to, to, to be applied, to be uh, put into reality, concrete reality. Uh, but uh, yeah, there is nothing on us. Nothing happens on us. Mm, yeah, it doesn't make us be more, and even it makes us it makes us not being, because we are just something, even something or someone that drives okay. the car. So that's the car that has some reality, not us. Okay, so yeah, so we give uh, by giving uh, the reality to our ideas we forget about ourselves because we are pre preoccupied preoccupied more with our ideas yeah yeah okay so okay so let's uh go. Okay. We are preoccupied. We are preoccupied. We are.
that are transformed into objects. Okay. Okay, so uh, I write uh, the, I read the, the the summary. So by giving reality to our ideas, we are more preoccupied with ideas that are transformed into the objects, but not with ourselves. Yes. Okay. So have you got anything to to add to to this? Um. No, no, no. Is it something new for you, this idea, or you? It's common. It's uh, you already reflected on it. Yeah, the idea of not being ourself. Yes. No, 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 and I'm bothered by that because uh, that's something that we uh, often say. It's kind of uh, almost a, a common opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, against uh, pragmatic and uh, capitalistic world mm -hmm. uh, that people uh, don't deal with themselves, they don't work on themselves, they 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 are not beings. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, either uh, Julien just deals with mm -hmm. uh, this common opinion, mm -hmm. uh, even if it is said uh, very nicely and uh, knowledgeably, but uh, either or. Uh, I miss something, mm -hmm. and just influenced by common opinions, and uh, maybe uh, I don't go to something that is a bit more substantial. Uh, but yeah, at least there is this, and mm -hmm. so the idea speaks to me, and uh, I, I find it good to to just to say it. Uh, it gives some, uh, uh, it gives a form, it gives a reality to 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 this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah, so it's something uh, common as, for me as well. But uh, here I I see another cut of uh, this alienation from ourselves through the 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 part the, through this categorization through this uh, necessity of uh, seems like. Um, there is necessity to uh, follow this scheme uh, that you have an idea, then you transform it into into the object, into the fact, and um, this scheme is so natural <laughs> for me <laughs> that uh, now I'm, I am a bit curious. Uh, is there a, any other schemes that uh, can be a, as an alternative to this one? So I you know. guess I guess there is one. Uh, Julien yes. will uh, propose. <laughs> yes, propose it. Yes, uh, yeah. but I would make a I would make a, a distinction between necessity and determination. Mm -hmm. uh, even if we find it natural, uh, of course we we need yeah. that. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's necessary in the philosophical sense. Yes. Yeah, that's the, oh, because yeah. The, it's the, the the bad face to say like uh, this the mm -hmm. uh, yeah. necessity, not uh, okay. one of the possibilities. But uh, you see that uh, yes, this determination that um, acts within me is um, also makes me saying that it's necessity. Uh, of course, not, but. Uh, I would like to see <laughs> the, the alternative of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Can you imagine what could be the alternative? A, uh, give a try. Well, the the alternative can be the contemplation uh, without uh, the this um, 
uh, immediate action uh, in order to get what you want. Uh, for example, is, uh, this uh, UV, uh, well, a bit um, in this uh, Chinese paradigm now, it's a non doing, non doing uh, principle when you just <laughs> wait when the reaped uh, fruit falls into your hands <laughs> and uh, a mature fruit falls into your hand without uh, doing. Uh, anything uh in in the reality and transforming it it's just you work on your patience on your feelings and your um, yeah yeah uh, attitudes to, to the world yeah mm -hmm. so yeah so can, the con can contemplation this. way yes mm -hmm. yeah Do, and, uh, like uh, doing without mm -hmm. doing yes yeah 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 I was thinking about a, a story. I think it's uh, Trunks' story yeah. uh, of a duke who asks uh, a, a man to uh, to build a, a temple, mm -hmm. and uh, so the man goes to the the the, the, the hill where it has he had to to build a temple, and uh, he just sat uh, on the ground, and uh, if I remember well. And so some people were wondering what he was doing, doing. And um, so step by step, people were asking to him, "What are you doing, etc." And so he said that uh, he was asked to to build a, a temple. And uh, so yeah, so step by step, people actually uh, proposed their service uh, for the different things uh, yeah. to, to to make the, the temple. And then, uh, yeah, one day, uh, yes, after four days or something, there was a, a delay. Mm -hmm. uh, the the we we could hear the the the, the bells of the temple that was uh, built, yeah, just by sitting on the hill. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh... Well, it's interesting, yes, how we uh, we can see this uh, this the way the different ways of uh, thinking. Um, well, let's see. Would you like to stay on this text uh, more? But can we go yeah. work on on it more in the, in, the, in the future? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we will will have this um, more. Yeah. Yeah. There complete idea of uh... but yeah yeah we just want yes. we just want to know we just want uh, yeah we just want <laughs> obsessed <laughs> what is what's gonna and she, be it just opened uh, a door you know and yeah we have to go with it we have to enter uh, <laughs> a reflection yes good guy he did he did it well yeah yes <laughs> okay thanks to François Julien <laughs> 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 yeah, he's really the nice author. Yes. yes. So, uh, shall we finish uh, for yes. today? Yes, I know and, that. Uh, yeah. yeah. So next uh, week it will be your turn. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay.